Good morning, everyone. It's really cold out, so I'm gonna keep the mask and the head gear and everything on right now. Um, I just wanted to talk real quick about my psychedelic experience last weekend. I took four grams of mushrooms and um, never had an experience quite like this except for on DMT. Um, so I laid the four grams out, I take them, I roll about six joints so that I have them for, as Terrence McKenna says, if you get in a jam. And uh, let's see, about an hour into it I start getting scared. And uh, I realized I just need to sit there and do massage therapy techniques on my neck, lay down and wait till it hits. And uh, some point in the next 20 minutes, I lose my sense of self to a degree. I can still tell where I'm at, I'm in the bedroom. I can see the bed, I can see the walls. But then I would kind of transfer into these states and these states would be like uh, this huge being made of electricity he showed me that we're all, it, or it showed me that we are all in this huge circuit of individuated consciousness. And that before we live, we're actually a part of this thing. And then after we die, we go back into this. And some people have called this source. Um, some people call this God. I like what uh, Nikola Tesla says. He says there is a source of all this information somewhere that he has not penetrated into and after this experience i really believe that the experience was uh me communicating with the higher intelligence something that's been here a lot longer than we have and somehow is a part of us in all of our waking and sleeping moments before and after we're dead um or before and after we're alive <clears throat> now terrence mckenna says to eat five dried grams so I'm going to try five grams next weekend. We're going to see how that works out. But I want to go fully, full immersion. I don't want to see any of this environment if possible. I want to go into space and other dimensions. I want to see the rest of the truth. Um, this being showed me that we could, we could, everything is a metaphor for what's actually happening, so to speak. But that it is, uh, what is it? It, we could be in like a computer simulation is one way to look at it. Another way to be in it is we could, uh, we could be like three beings sitting in a room practicing telepathy, all consciously building what we know as Earth and life um, in their mind as a mental construct of some sorts. Um, what Terrence McKenna says and what the shaman, shamanistic cultures seem to believe is that you can get in touch with this God being and you don't have to go to church you don't have to go stay sweep a floor at the ashram for 12 years is what he says and uh, I spent my whole life I'm 31 trying to find these things studying yoga practicing yoga meditation going to different churches going to different spiritual groups trying these different things and uh, nothing gets the job done the way that psychedelics do I've meditated for years I've still never talked to any higher intelligence I've never seen truth from meditation I don't get these experiences largely um, psychedelics are a given it's a fact it seems like you take this substance and it just happens um, so I don't know how to recommend this for anybody else I want to say for my own self I am so fucking happy that I found this and I got to experience this in my lifetime um, I think it is our birthright I think we do deserve this experience if we are so seeking it and uh, I think being in a safe place is good if you can. Being somewhere where you don't have to be responsible to the environment, somewhere you can just detach and lay down and breathe, stretch out, whatever you have to do, cry, laugh. I know when this was going on for me, I, uh, I was crying, but I was crying out of bliss and out of finally experiencing something divine. It wasn't like sad, it was like uh, finally, finally breaking through the pain or the suffering or the barriers of life and seeing the truth. I'm not sure, but it, it was as if this thing showed me that my dad, my dad who passed away, his energy is in this place, and you get to sort of reunite with it all in some sense. Um, fascinating stuff, man. Um, I don't think there's anything that beats these states of consciousness as far as trying to, again, reach divinity, reach spirituality, reach a deeper understanding of the whole picture here. Um, if you guys have questions, please 
I'd love to ask I'd love to answer questions if you guys want to help me make this channel grow click subscribe click the like button um, I want to get this information out there because I think the truth is being swept under the rug too often I think our governments are getting away with controlling things that they don't deserve to control and I think we all deserve to know what's really going on thank you